Welcome viewers to Software Demi, a project control and engineering software academy. Today I'm going to discuss with you about my schedule comparison report XDR tool that's based on my website online server. In this video, we will show you how to use the detailed schedule comparison XDR tool for schedule comparison of Primavera P6 file that's based on XDR files. Our tool generates a detailed comparison report that includes dashboards, progress changes, activity revisions, relationship revisions, resource revisions, constraint revisions, relationship warnings, date warnings, duration warnings, cost warnings, and critical path analysis. This tool can be assessed from our website online server after contacting with our administrator or with our team at our website online and also at our support on our email. And now you can, anyone can use it by login details so you can get the subscription from our uh, team. Watch this video to learn how to analyze and compare two schedules efficiently. So I will show you and completely detail you about how this will be work. Keep watching Softy Demi. So here I will open my site as softydemi.com. You can go here in Google. You can search for Softy Demi. You will find here softydemi.com. Also, the link of this tool have been given in the description of this video. I will go in the tools comparison report XDR tool. I will click on that tool. So I will open a new page here. There will be a new page there. Also, the link of this page have been given in the description of this video. Also, you can go here uh, to our homepage from this and also email us by subscription. And also, you can read our article related to this one and also uh, there is a, another tool link have been given there also i will assign username and password so you don't use my site username and password so it will be not work here and the team will give you the password and the username i will go here and login and current xdr so this one xdr comparison uh, report tool will be useful for all consultants so the consultant do not have time to make a comparison and to use a visualizer like that one so it have uh, bulk details so this one is very easy to use and this one give you within just seconds complete detail so in 28 february my current schedule and also the contractor can use it to see how much progress have been done from previous month so make a comparison easily he can easily generate a monthly progress report from this one so what is my previous schedule i will enter my december 31st schedule here and i will make a comparison between my 28 february 2023 schedule and 31st december 2023 i will click on analyze i can see my current and previous project stats what are their project id what are project name what are their versions what are their created dates and what are their created personal so also i can see here project dates what are their start dates different what are their date, date, date difference what are their end date dates difference and date difference will be their delay 32.3 days are delay plus do not means that the delay have been recovered it means that the delay have been occurred so in my you know, previous one my uh, finish date was 15 november 2025 now my current uh, schedule the finish date is 17 december 2020 five so also fun may must finish by date some people just change their must finish by date to just reduce a float but it's wrong so the people knows what should be the must finish date by of your project so also the duration between my two updates is 59 days so you can see here the two months difference from 31 december and 28 february so now i will see here my progress so what the progress have been changed between two months so in my previous month it's also useful for consultant to check what they have done between uh, baseline and what they have done between the recovery or revised schedule. So it's also similar. So you can compare here what 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 was in uh, your baseline, what was in your recovery schedule. Also, you can also see from your updated and also your recovery schedule changes from this one. So this is useful for both update pro progress and also useful for revised or recovery and uh, the difference between uh, the updated and the uh, VNR recovery also you can see from them also in progress you can see here what was schedule percent complete for my current and uh, previous 
The difference between that, that one was 1.6%. So 1.6% have been planned during this duration. Also scheduled percent complete has been known as scheduled percent complete is at planned percent complete. And also there are different names by different uh, uh, people's used uh, and they call as a uh, field terms. Uh, and physical percent complete can be physical unit or duration as per Pramavira P6 concept. So physical percent complete uh, is based on performance percent complete also uh, known as in Pramavira P6. So what the change have been done 0.8% so you have achieved 0.8% as physically and in by cost there should be a cost assigned or there may be a cost assigned to the project so 2.8% have been achieved during this duration so 53.4 is current my and 50.8 is my previous so you can see also here a graph which will uh, also show you this one blue lines as your actuals and this one should be completed so this one is your deadline and what the actual is going on and how much time you will take so this one is your delay incorporated in your uh, progress curve so this one is uh, as per your uh, must finish by date and this one is as per your uh, this one is as per your budgeted as you can see as a schedule and this one is your uh, uh, actual and this one is your remaining uh, remaining you can see here forecasted so the curve have been drawn this one so this one is whole your delay so activity relationship stats so there are four types of activity and relationships there are uh, two categories activities and relationships so both stats have been given here so the comparison between not started in progress and completed whole uh, the pie chart have been given what was the previous and what was the current difference here you can see for uh, three uh, different activity status uh, uh, detailed pie chart here also the activity types like there, like there are four types have been given like task dependent milestone based uh, milestone uh, finish or start and level of effort and resource dependent activities so you can see how many activities uh, are current and what are the previous so is there uh, any change have been done in activity type and also you can see here uh, activity floats uh, what was the critical uh, float uh, near critical normal float and high float and uh, longest path and what the changes have been done between uh, current and the previous one so you can uh, use it for the updated schedule and also for the the comparison between baseline and recovery schedule also so in uh, relationship types like there are relationship types there are four types of relationship finish to start start to start finish to finish and start to finish so all the four what the changes have been done during this period so there is no change have been done in so if there are maybe a uh, revision or recovery schedule so there may be a difference in a start uh, finish to start if you are using fast tracking technique uh, so in in that, that technique there will be change in uh, a relationship so that's why you can see here maybe a change in your pie chart also the cost and resource loading that's a major there are two parts what is the cost loading cost loading in which uh, you have something a cost so in the unit there uh, there may be a uh, budgeted labor units uh, there may be uh, uh, budgeted non labor units so in cost you can see here the most uh, budgeted budgeted is your uh, total budget pro project budgeted cost so it's it's fixed some project it's fixed and some project it may vary so maybe uh, this is a fixed uh, type of project so in this project so you can see here uh, the difference between uh, the to date to date means uh, what the difference between current and previous to date has been updated so 4.3 million difference so also units changes have been given here and now you can see here progress changes what the progress change have been done in started and what the progress changes have been done in the finished dates so in started which activity have been started and which activity have been finished between the difference between that one also the percent complete changes between a previous and a current also you can see the what is the variance so you will see all the activities with whose percentage completed uh, while comparison between the update progress so you can see here in the variance also remaining duration what are the remaining duration changes while you have an update of previous and current so you can see here all your various variances will appear here and actual cost changes so there may be a variance for example in the previous one is uh, 8604 and in current uh, in actual cost current uh, also actual cost is also current uh, 9164 so there is 560 uh, variance uh, during this update actual so this one is uh, your new cost and updated cost so uh, in your new schedule uh, also if there are activity revisions in activity revisions there are a lot of uh, uh, sub tabs like added how many activities have been added how many activity have been deleted what are the name changes during uh, this update what are the original durations changes in this uh, update 
calendar if there are changes in calendar you have a different calendar then you have assigned a new calendar also actual starts and actual finish changes and also wbs assignment changes will be appear in the activity revisions tab now we will see here relationship revisions uh, relationship revisions included uh, three types added deleted and uh, revised so if they you have added new relationship it will be shown here if you deleted some relationship like you delete any relationship it will be shown there and also if you revise for example you change the finish to start to start to start and any other relationship it will be shown here so resource revision if you have added new resources it will be shown here if you deleted some resources it will be shown here if you have uh, revised any cost if you have revised any units it will be appear here so constraints uh revision so constraints you have added a uh, constraint deleted or revised uh you have added any secondary deleted or revised secondary so there are two types of relationship one is primary one is secondary so any type of primary uh there may be a lot of must finish by start on start finish so there are a lot of constraints you can see my uh, video uh, against uh, the constraints i have explained very well so the link of that video have been given in the description of this video so in the relationships warning so if you have open predecessor it will be shown there if you have open successor so there may be dcma check so you can see here how many activity have an open successor also open start open finish that are dangling activities duplicate relationship maybe you have assigned by using excel so you may have some du uh, duplicate relationships so contractor have beneficial so you he can remove the duplicate relationship so you can find out here if you are consultant that what are duplicate relationship assigned so you can uh, ask to your contractor to delete this one this is very very easy and very useful method and very useful uh, dashboard this is very useful uh, uh, schedule comparison report xr tool so also the date warning what are the date warning if your actual start is greater than data date so uh, it will show here if your actual finish is greater than data date equal to so it will be shown here if your uh, these, these are riding uh, start and finish so it will be also shown here expected finish if you freeze your deadline of any activity it will be appear here so if you have suspended any activity have suspended and resume some activities maybe some work have been done and just suspended due to some reason so it will be shown here suspended and resume also so duration warnings if you duration is greater than 20 it will be appear here so all the activities 433 this schedule uh, is based on higher duration so 20 is allowable maybe it's 30 you can see here what are regional duration you can activities see actual duration activity duration and you can just copy here from uh, your excel uh, you can see act original duration if there are uh, equal to zero some activities some people assign zero duration so you can uh, capture activities here also original duration equal to one also you will be appear here remaining duration is equal to zero and also remaining duration and original duration if they are equal so it will be also appear here so now it's also an error uh, cost warning if there are changes in cost in your uh, budget and your at completion it will be also appear here and value variances that's also important the activity you have done here you can see here which activity have how much they have achieved regressive billing is that one if you have updated uh, more than uh, current for example if uh, in the previous month if you have updated 10 and now this month you have updated 5 so this is 5 minus 5 is your regressive regressive means you have haven't progress you have just decreased the progress so that's a negative impact on your project management it's not accept acceptable so sometimes people do like that one so you can easily caught by this tool so critical path analysis if there are critical path analysis uh, you can compare from that one so this is my today's content related to detailed schedule comparison report you can uh, get the link of all the uh, videos uh, related content i will give all the related videos and below description of this video also uh, the link of this site also i will give in the description of video you can contact us through our email also you can contact us through our whatsapp number that have been given at the end of this video you can see our uh, updates on our uh, site www.softydemy.com and also contact us info at the rate of softydemy.com also you can contact us anytime at our whatsapp number thanks for watching softydemy we will come up with a new content and very useful content thanks